Hey everybody, a little rainy out, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on the OBD, Onboard Diagnostics, uh, for vehicles. <coughs> Today we're going to take a look at the OBD-1, formerly known as OBD before OBD-2 came out. And, uh, we're going to do it right here on the S-10. Now what I've done is I unhooked the map sensor and then ran the vehicle, hooked it back up. That way I could trip a code and show y'all how to how to work this. Now this is a uh, a key for the 12 pin the 12 pin system. I think it'll work on others, but I'm not quite sure. You can get this at AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Well, I don't know if O'Reilly's has them, but they're free. Uh, if you can't get a hold of one, a piece of wire will work. Let's take a look at the 12-pin connector. <coughs> this is the 12-pin connector. And the ones, the two that you're going to want to jump is A and B located right here in the upper right corner. That's how it looks with the key in it. Now, <clears throat> to do this you're going to watch the check engine light. Right there. So I'll go ahead and slip this in and we'll check it out. Now it's going to be going to start blanking. That right there is a 12 code. One blank, pause, two blanks, long pause means it's the end of the code. Now it's going to blink three times, so here's the last one, and then it's going to go on to the codes that are actually stored, which I lost count, but there we go. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, thirty-three, which I'm pretty sure is a map sensor. That's the only thing it could be, because that's about the only thing that works on this truck anymore. Uh, but that's how to read them. OBD was introduced in uh, 1980 to GM, but it, w it was actually on earlier vehicles. And... Uh, the older ones, all they did was turn on the light. There wasn't really much of a diagnostic to them. Uh, it was around, I think it was between 86 and 88, they started actually doing the onboard diagnostic so you could actually check it yourself. Uh, this is how to do it yourself at home without a code reader and when it's done flashing all the codes it'll flash the 12 code again which is just letting you know it's in diagnostic mode beginning and end and it'll repeat as long as your key is in uh, if I pull the key out it goes right back to standard I got city working behind me. Anyway, uh, you can hook a live scanner up to these and actually get feedback from your engine. Uh, not much works on this vehicle, so there ain't much of a feedback for this one. I have had it hooked up to a live scanner before. And about the only thing it showed me was my map sensor and my uh, RPMs. Now you can go online and they do have pinouts for this uh, thing right here. And from what I understand you can actually hook up tacks and stuff to those. 
I'm not sure how yet. I haven't really looked into it. But I guess if a live scanner can read it, you can use it. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the next video at my brother's Dodge Ram van. Because it's a little different. You don't need a key to read the codes on it. <coughs> this is an 88. His is a 95. Uh, and they're different. Reading the codes is a little different. And you can't always rely on this method. But it gives you a good place to start. It's a real good starting point. You know, at least then you can check for vacuum leaks and stuff like that. Like, if this map sensor code came up and I hadn't have done hadn't done anything to it, I would go look at my vacuum line and my connections. <coughs> and if I hook this up to a scanner, it's just going to tell me code 33 map sensor. It it tell me the same thing regardless. But I will actually be able to check the live statistics on it as it's running. And you do that with the vehicle running. Uh, just to show you all, the S10 still runs. No lights. It is a five-speed standard, T5. Uh, this is a world-class T5 and not a standard T5, so it can hold quite a bit of torque. It has been redone inside. Uh, I blew the clutch on it. I wish I'd had a video camera that time. It does have a brand new clutch on it. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you, but that'll be a good starting point for anybody that has a 12-pin connector. And we'll be going through the vehicles one by one, showing you the different connectors and how to use jumpers or use a scanner tool. Uh, the Camaro has a check engine light coming on here and there, but it's not actually giving us any codes. So I think I'm going to hook it up to a live scanner and, and watch all the sensors and see which one's faulting out. But anyway, don't forget you can get that for free. I didn't know that until last year. I always uh, just jumped it with a couple pieces of wire. <clears throat> I spewed a lot of oil just driving up here in the driveway to do this but I wanted to unhook that map sensor and show you guys what it looked like and the reason why most of my sensors don't work is because this engine was actually swapped back into this vehicle uh, it did have a larger engine in it and it will again the sensors are hooked up, but the computer has been flashed, and uh, you gotta love that. <coughs> the computer's been flashed, and nothing in the computer memory is actually stock anymore. The whole program's been rewritten. <coughs> I do have a new oxygen sensor, but it don't even register with the computer anymore. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. and If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll fill you in the best I can. There's a lot more information on the OBD system, and I'd be happy to share it with you if, you wanna, if you're interested. Thanks. Y'all have a good day.